Hey there y'all, I wanted to take you through a, mm, 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 a tour of our house to see how I'm doing. We're 24 hours from departure to head to Arkansas and I feel like, I feel like things are a little bit discombobulated still. So check it out. Vest, a high-vis vest. Some headsets, outdoor sleeping arrangement, clothes that I plan to pack, small items that I really like to pack. Am I gonna take oats with me? Helmets ready to go, a bunch of small parts. Coffee, sleeping bag, bivy, snacks, a down jacket, handlebar bag. Baby stuff galore. Saddle bag, another down jacket. More clothes, top two bag, snacks galore. Thank you, Trader Joe's. Filter, battery, more meals. Garmin in reach so you know where I am. More snacks. Where the heck am I going? Crib sheet, notes, map. Yeah, 24 hours, I'm ready to go. Yee! Bike, front wheel. Hope I got everything. This is it. See ya. When I see ya. And away we go. Stay limber. Get to stay limber. Bring your own food. a.m. today, it's day two of driving. I have another 12 hour day on tap. We've gone through a bunch of rainstorms, which is terrific because that is rain that is not falling anymore on the course. Gateway of America. Hey yo, 10 minutes out from the scenic town of Fayetteville. Super psyched to be nearly done with the drive. It is a beautiful evening. It is crazy hilly. Non-stop up and down. So welcome to the Ozarks. Stoked to arrive. Got in last night to Fayetteville where we are today. Uh, super excited to get back to this town. Have not been here since I think the 2008, nope, 2007 Joe Martin stage race. Uh, I think it took oh, 24 driving hours to get out here. I did not get out of the car exclusively to get gas, except to get gas. Beautiful day. They've been pounded with rain for the past five days, six days, I think we're gonna see a lot of high creeks. I think we're gonna see a lot of wet, gnarly stuff doing a shakeout ride on the old Steed. I do not have my saddlebag on because I don't feel like it. I'm gonna repack for the 17th time. Oh man, the stoke is high. Welcome to where the pavement ends. Master, the surgeon at work. Yeah, boy. Oh man, here we go. Putting the light on. It's so stoked right now. We assume that you're tall, so we left you lots of cable. Yes, please. Because we know that you're a very yeah. tall boy. I got I got a real big, big uh, <laughs> head tube there. <laughs> the bad man behind the race, Mr. Chuck Campbell. Oh, yeah. When I met Jay Peterberry on the route, he called me a sadistic MFer, so that's probably what you're going to call me after about three days on the route. It's uh, 4.50 in the morning, it is race day. My alarm is set for 5.45, so I should be asleep. Everybody is doing one of two things. They're fast asleep, getting their final, final sleep in. Or they're like me where they're twitchy and they're itchy and they're ready to get going. I'm gonna try to close my eyes again, but I might be wide awake for the next hour. And then it's go time. Oh, here's more. Last minute questions. This is going to ask you. You got three minutes. So. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay. We're rolling. There's already a series of attacks going off the front. Hello there, my friends. We are now three hours into the event. Um, averaging about 17 miles an hour. Beautiful day out here. We're riding a lot of the big sugar course, or at least it feels like it. I'm slowly shedding clothes because the temperature is warming up. It was about 32 at the start. Nice rollout. We had 30 miles of bike path, Fayetteville to Bentonville. And now we hit gravel right after Bentonville. Arkansas, 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 Missouri. Feels different over here. Just like a Grand Tour, I'll sometimes go into different countries. We just went into a different state. 
Let's talk snacks for a minute. In this bag is my favorite, perhaps of all snacks, and that is peanut butter pretzels. They already have a lot of salt, so this opportunity here is the salt-free option. Because if I eat a whole bag, that's like 700% of your daily value of sodium. Eight and a half hours, 133 miles, comfort bars are looking good. Still in the lead. Um, every time you get to the top of one of these hills, you get reception. So maybe we'll look at the tracker. Looks like I have about a half hour lead. But you know, it's a little bit nerve wracking because I want to sleep, but I don't know the, the likes of the competition. Are they the non-sleeping type? This is the game we play. You hear that? That is my cleat. Approaching 10 hours. I've done uh, 10 hours pedaling. I've just eclipsed 150 miles. Average speed is just over 15 miles an hour, which is considerably slower than I expected. Golden than an hour. Oh man. Ow! Welcome to the Wit Springs Community Center. It's, uh, it's about 1.30 in the morning, 235 miles, I'm in the lead, I don't know the gap, I'm absolutely exhausted. Average speed, 13.9 miles an hour, 21,000 feet of climbing. Brutal. Well, not the most restful night of sleep. It's about almost 6 a.m. We turned our clocks back last night. We got here at like 1, toss and turn for a couple hours. Ended up finally falling asleep for, I don't know, probably two hours total. Half expected to see somebody come in. Nobody came in. Uh, packing up now, eating some food, and then hit the road. Breakfast of Champions right there, y'all. Toss oats. We are rolling into day two. Not extraordinarily pumped about this. It's beautiful, but uh, I don't want to get my feet wet. So, shoes are coming off. This is a very rocky 16% grade. Which is basically the story of this entire event. Does anyone else feel like a robber during COVID when you go into every store? Hi. Antiques and what? Howdy. So, I don't think I got off my bike a single time yesterday, but here I am, walking up a hill. I suppose if day one could be categorized as something, it would be very fitting of the state. If I'm not mistaken, Arkansas is the natural state. And fittingly, I saw the following live animals. A turtle, a whole bunch of snakes, a moose, a wild cat, Perhaps a wildcat. Perhaps a mountain lion. I hope not. It was definitely large and in charge. Day two can be categorized as extraordinarily silly. Recently knocked out the first 100 miles of today with the dangerous ratio of 1,000 feet of climbing for every 10 miles. So I'm well past 30,000 feet now. Hi, cows. Means I'm almost at 36 hours of riding. Done about just shy of 400 miles. Good morning. Oh, damn. That is a dam. We are in Little Rock, Arkansas. Sort of the halfway point. Got a little sleep in last night. Went to the first hotel motel I could find. Did about a 14 hour day. It was just very, very challenging. I'm gonna start passing people today. Looks like there's a pretty good battle. There's a fellow by the name of Andrew, local Fayetteville character. Andrew, dude, you're flying. Look forward to seeing you out on the course today. Day three, walking up another hill. 
This whole event was one of uh, conservation. Road, unsafe when underwater. We just saw Andrew, the leader of the counterclockwise loop. Uh, I think I'm ahead by like 40 miles, 60 miles. Oh, damn. All right, what's for lunch? Corn dogs, mini ice creams, big ice creams. So many choices and so far to go. That was a grocery store visit, Mount Ida. I'm really glad I went. I ate a whole bunch of Fig Newtons, had an untapped waffle and an untapped packet. And my stomach is sort of saying, hey, uh, you just ate an absurd amount of food. And now we're an hour later and I feel like a million bucks. And then I just passed second place counterclockwise and he said, what we have coming up is gonna be simply absurd. So, glad I'm well fed. It's 9 p.m. It's day three. Uh, where am I? I'm at 6.40. I wanted to get to 6.70. Uh, it's dinner time. I'm in a little bivvy. And here's the real trick of the trade. I argue this is some of the best macaroni and cheese I've ever had. So good. Good morning. Set my alarm for 2. Woke up at 1.45. Had to go pee. Packed up the bike. Packed up the bivvy. Packed up the sleeping bag. And... I'm actually really tired. But there's nothing I can do about it, so it's time to keep on going. Well, it's 5.25 a.m. I've been riding since about two. And I'm literally gonna lay down here and take a nap. See how that does me. Hopefully the sun comes out. Howdy. I realize I look awful by taking a selfie earlier. Day four, voting day. Hope you're all doing your civic duty. I just experienced three hours at 10 miles an hour. Took one nap, pooped in an outhouse. And I am extraordinarily happy that the sun is out. Welcome to Arkansas. Welcome to Oklahoma. Let's go back to Arkansas. Do the do. I've never had a Mountain Dew, or I certainly haven't in 20 years, but I'm gonna drink a Mountain Dew because, thank you, Trail Angels. So this is called bike riding. I know no one wants to watch me chew, but frankly, I don't really care right now. Over 200 miles for the day, which is impressive because I'm currently on the third big berg of the day. Race situation, Andrew, is leading counterclockwise. By my estimate and last check, I got about a 60 mile lead. And you know, I've, I'm new to this. I have no idea what that means, but he's crushing it. I'm having a good ride. It's great getting messages from people. I'm gonna chill here with my gummy bears before I continue tackling this. Morning. Um, high atop Mount Magazine and I got a hotel last night, which was my, my carrot. That was my, what I was chasing the entire day. But long story short, I rode for 20 straight hours on one hour of sleep. As I roll out of bed this morning and I can hardly move, I ache in places that I've never ached. Like, look at my eyes. I'd call this one of the best decisions I made. My breakfast just came courtesy of $5 and a vending machine. Lunchtime, day five. I'm like clear of mind, but my body is really starting to break down. My dexterity just isn't there. I have a hard time zipping a zipper. I'm trying to stretch, stay limber, eat some food. I'm in the town of Russellville, 180 miles to go. I've got a pretty substantial lead, so it's nice. But man, this is a this is a chore. It's really, really, really hard. Hey, it's a <laughs> How you doing? Hey, so those very friendly folks on the tractor were Chuck Campbell, race director, horse designer, his wife, and chef and snack extraordinaire provider. They said 10 people have scratched. It means we are down to 50% of these starters. Thank you guys so much. Well, 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 it's the uh, last light of day five. A couple things have happened. One, I nearly ran out of water. Uh, I'd call today considerably slower than expected, but 
I am gung ho for the finish line. Still got about 120 miles to go. This maneuver is called eating homemade cinnamon roll in the middle of the dirt road. Just past the final checkpoint besides the final checkpoint. And uh, these are 65 miles to go. But I need to lay down here and take a nap. Well, this is one of those moments I sort of feel like would never come, which is funny because it all started four, almost five days ago. But it's 3.08 a.m. It's Thursday. And I'm on the bike path back to Fayette. It's two consecutive 20-hour days and Really, really, what a wild, wild ride. All right, there he is. We see some lights. TK, we're going to call this the finish line right here, my friend. Local time, call it 321. There it is. Uh, well, that was a big bike ride. Not only did you best uh, Jay Peterberry's time, but uh, you've bested uh, Scotty and Ernie Lechuga's time, and at this point are the uh, fastest person known to have ever uh, completed this route. So congratulations, my friend. I appreciate it. Tony, with a very proud showing by Mr. Ted King, here is your belt buckle. An absolute honor having oh, you come to Arkansas and put out that kind of effort. Cheers, bro. That is, Thank uh, you. That is one of the hardest earned buckles you could ever get. Yeah, I've, uh, I've fought for some buckles before. <laughs> that's next level. That thing's sweet. Well, folks, that's a bike race. So I did the race in four days. 20 hours and 15 minutes, I believe was the time. I don't know if you can tell, but I don't look great. I don't feel good at all. I'm content with with how it went last night and over the previous few days, but I'm a I'm a novice if there ever was one. Right from day one, I I think my inexperience showed. And you know, I set myself up poorly by, by sleeping really poorly. Let's talk about what hurts. Let's go head to toe. I'm happy to say my scalp doesn't hurt. Move down here, obviously my eyes are a little bit messed up. My lips are completely chapped. My, my teeth hurt. My tongue is so savagely raw. My neck is by day four and five. I could not lift my neck. Skin feels super weird. Both wrists hurt real bad. Fingers, terrible dexterity. My undercarriage, as you might be able to guess, not in a good place. Stomach's okay. Digestive system's okay. My mind is mostly okay. Anyway. Huge thanks for you guys for following. Massive thanks to sponsors of all kinds. Thanks for, thanks for putting up with me. Peace and love, my friends.